hi all welcome back so today in this video we'll be covering a new topic it's about how we can uh, like s select some value or like like getting texts from multiple locators so for example uh, in selenium we have like um, find element and find elements right so uh, what find elements does so find elements actually uh, get all the locators right so and then we have to iterate over those elements to get the values from those locators so the same thing how we can do in playwright so that we'll be learning here so now I'm using this website that we have already used in our previous videos so here we earlier we selected some values from country drop down so we use select class right so uh, in this video we will not be selecting any value but uh, what we want to do we want to get uh, the text of this all these options okay and also we need uh, to find how many countries are there right so that's also one of that one one target we have and another another thing we can want to do like uh, we want to select just the last element or just the first element something like that okay and also uh, uh, there is like uh, we need to uh, iterate over this list or we try to work this uh, all the values and need to print one by one okay so there is multiple things we can do uh, right so let's see these uh, things here okay so now first thing we have to uh, go to this page so we have navigated to here and now we need to expect the um, country drop down right so here this is the country drop down and these are the values right so uh, let's create a css locator for this so select um, next um, i think uh, name okay so name equals to country okay so we get uh, this locator right country field this is select options right so next we have to go uh, we need to find all these options so uh, we can write option so we can see there are 248 elements right so let's select it and let's create a locator like country options and page dot locator this one so we created this country options so this is actually returning uh, the these are these all options right now next uh, we want to uh, print all the values right so that we can do easily or the visible values like that so we can do like country options dot uh, all inner texts or text contents whatever anything you can use but uh, for now we are using inner text we all we already made a video for difference between inner texts and um, text contents so you can watch that video i will put it in the description and uh, so let's print it so one thing you can notice what I mean maybe you have a questions like what it will return so it will return a list basically so if I hover over it let's see the description what playwright team is saying I can see return an array of node in our text value for all the matching nodes so it's it's they are mentioning like array of nodes but it's actually returning our one a list okay so uh, which is contains all these values and let's print uh, the count as well so country options dot count so we get the size of this list right how many uh, number of how, how, how many number of elements are there in this country options that we also get okay now let's run it and see what what is happening so i can write like by test minus s test as headed and then basics and then test multiple events right yeah now if i hit enter let's see 
it collected one items and it opened the browser and it is you can see it's closed the browser so uh, the test execution is done and one passed it means there is no failure and here you can see all these uh, values from country because this is also one options right uh, and from this one up to the Zimbabwe I believe yeah the last one is Zimbabwe so all these 248 values and how do I know how 248 uh, it should be printed as well here you can see so all these 248 values are printed or options right not values but the options are printed in the console so uh, this is how we can uh, fetch all the inner text or all the text contents from a multi select or multi not multi select but a multi elements okay and um, kind of uh, this country options it's not just a single element right it's a multiple elements okay and one more thing you may be surprised to see like it's not uh, if you see the type of this locator, I mean, just let me show you. Um, I mean, uh, it, it, it is not a list. Okay, country options is not a list. We cannot directly use like country options dot size or any anything. It's it's basically if you see it, uh, print uh, country options and type. I can mention type. like uh, what, why I'm saying like like uh, in selenium we have find elements right which it's is returning the list of elements but here it is not returning any list of elements okay so basically it would be you can see here around so you can see here uh, it is basically class of playwright dot sync api dot generated locator generated dot locator so this is just a locator uh, class okay so that is the type of this country option so this is just a locator okay nothing nothing else so to get all the values or to fetch the count you cannot you cannot use country options dot size okay you need to use country options dot count this is the inbuilt method that they have introduced so you have to use this one count method to get the all the values or all the number of values present in this country options okay now um, there is one more thing uh, we can try like um, let me comment it out this three thing okay comment I'm commenting it and now so um, there is a method called country options dot if I press dot it will give you all the auto suggestions and here you can select first so it will actually if there is like sometimes happen in our uh, automation like uh, you cannot get a unique node right so in that case there might be two or three nodes are um, options are coming and you just have to select the first one okay in that case you can use this approach so country options dot first dot um, and dot get text right or uh, text content uh, in a text okay so this is basically will be printing uh, the first options that is country so let's see that and uh, one more thing we can try uh, here as well like to print the last options that is Zimbabwe so that we also can try with country options dot last dot in our text okay I mean here we are printing in our text but um, you can if you if you are getting the locator you can directly click on the element or whatever you can do but as this is this is a select type drop down so we cannot uh, directly click on these elements okay so you need to use that select um, uh, select options method uh, for doing that these things so uh, okay so that uh, probably uh, there is a, some kind of dynamic drop downs are also there we can create a separate video for that like how to select values from a dynamic drop down where you need to search uh, the values from the like the drop down list and then you need to click on it so there is no select tag is available so in that can be that I can I can show you later in a separate video so okay so coming back to this topic I'm running it once again and let's see it is printing uh, this first and last element or not
so you can see it's it printed country and Zimbabwe right okay now let me put a comment okay so what what is what next so so one more thing you may be uh, thinking like okay can I iterate over uh, this country options let's say I have used this is a list we are getting here uh, country options dot in our text right and uh, now um, maybe I uh, want to click on a value okay based on the text that also you can try I mean uh, you can do it from here because this is a list right so um, I mean what I am talking about I'm talking about you do not need I mean you do not want to do this this text contents but directly from this country options you want to um, just get one element at a time right so that also you can do it so what we have to do you just have to first uh, you have to just iterate over a while loop so first let's say I'm creating index index equals to first zero okay and now I am creating while loop and while this index is um, uh, less than um, this country options dot count okay so so we are just creating a conditions here in the while loop I hope you are aware about this while loop so uh, while loop is just will iterate over these values uh, like uh, until this condition is satisfied so first this country is zero now index zero less than country dot options which is 248 that is true so this condition will be evaluated to true now it will go inside this while loop and inside this while loop we want to just uh, uh, print uh, the value so uh, we want to do country options dot in it of i index right dot uh, in a text okay and after this we want to just increment it I mean increment the value of index index equals to index plus one okay and once this while loop is finished and it will just come out okay so this is the simple while loop we have used to iterate over all the country options we are not using this country options dot all in our text here uh, but instead of that we are uh, getting each element one by one and then we are applying inner text method on that and then uh, we are just printing the values right so hope you are able to understand what I'm doing here and let me run it So here you can see it is printing all the values right one by one right so uh, like this we can apply some more conditions here if uh, this uh, if this is like here we can add if statement like if this values equals to equals to uh, let's say uh, Uruguay and then in that case we want to perform some option uh, some other other actions on that so that also we can try so that you can try from your end if, if with your applications okay and uh, let me know if you are facing any issue so I think uh, that's uh, that's all I wanted to show you in this video so and just to uh, re, uh, uh, recap uh, like what we learned here so first we see like uh, this country options locator we have created and from that country options we printed a list of all the inner texts okay so after that we printed the count of uh, the total number of elements available in this country options and then we printed uh, the first element text and the last element text and then we iterate over of iterate over this list uh, over this all the country options one by one and printed the text in a text right yeah so that's all for today's videos thank you for watching please like share and subscribe